Hi everyone, Cinderella 9 here. We're back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Enter here. This is Baron. Well, I couldn't enter the town from just anywhere like I used to be able to. I actually have to like go around the wall. Huh. I, I really have to keep that in mind. Hear that rumor? Word is there's a place called the Training Classroom under the Devil's Road. New adventurers can get all sorts of advice down there, or so they say. This is why speaking to NPCs is important. Hi. Tense potions and antidotes are a traveler's boon companions. You're journeying far. Best be well provisioned. Which makes sense. 494, uh... I was just say gold instead of gill. I end up doing that. I'll say gill, money, all kinds of things, just so you know. Potions! Uh, restore 100 HP. Phoenix Downs remove the KO status. Uh, Golden Needles remove stone. Eye Drops remove blind. Antidotes remove poison. Tent restore HP, MP, and status of the entire party. It's not a full heal, but it will, uh, will, will restore uh, quite a bit. Uh, you can only use tents outside, though, and in uh, special places inside dungeons. And Bestiary cast uh, Libra. Which used to be scan in the old font. Excuse me. In the older versions, it was scan. Uh, what Libra does is it tells you about the enemy. You'll see their HP, any weaknesses, things like that. So you can learn about your enemies. Uh, what we're going to do. I almost like to have a few Phoenix. Phoenix down. Gold needle. I drop a few antidotes. And we'll buy three potions to take with us. Okay. A little bit of everything. We'll use our starting cash for that. There's nothing else to use the starting cash on. Unless it changed. Well, I'd be upset if it changed. Your Lord Cecil of the Red Wings, why are my eyes betray me? You seek the Valley of Mist? Uh, it lies beyond a cave in the Northwest Mountains. So everybody knows, you know, Cecil. Hey, a potion! Sweet! Uh, you can find items just in random places. I don't remember where they all are. It was kind of easier to see from what, I, from what I'm seeing now than in the, uh, in the SNES versions just because it, the paths were, like, more laid out. Hi! Found a potion. You'll also get an exclamation point above your head. Little money, life, and calmly dancers wanted acquire at the counter. Hmm. Anything? No? When you stay in an inn, you get full HP and MP. Beds are 50 gil a night, so not staying there. I should have saved a little bit of money for the inn. Oh well. How come you're dressed like that? Are you a bad person? Yeah, it's not exactly the most low. Not exactly the uh, most dashing looking armor, is it? it looks, it's dark night. <laughs> Gnomish bread, tent, and eye drops. Uh, what's the bread? Cast sight. Uh, what sight does is, I don't remember it being called sight either. Maybe it was called sight. I don't remember. It's a spell I didn't use that much. What it does, it'll zoom out the map. I'll use it when we get outside. That way you can kind of get it get a uh, better look at the uh, your surroundings L Lord Cis Cecil I've done no ill I swear it my taxes are all paid yeah also strikes fear in people well if it isn't our own dark night money surely you jest your mere presence here is payment enough so you can see that being the dark night invokes different emotions nothing good could come of our meddling in the affairs of mist oh we'll see about that ah this is the devil's road this building houses the entrance to the devil's road the dwarmer path that leads to Mesidia. in quieter days it was a thriving means of trade but now the wizards have sealed the exit on their end effectively closing the route there's also a military classroom down in the cellar, though I'm sure you're no need to be taught about combat. But we're going to be taking it anyway. Uh, press this button. 
This is the path to the Devil's Road. Uh, it was uh, it was called. Oh. I'll remember some sometime. Maybe next episode. I'm sure it'll hit me, or maybe later this episode. Uh, it was called something different. It wasn't Devil's Road. Maybe it was Devil's Way. Snake Road. Snake Road. Think of a Snake Road. Hopefully, I'm right. I feel really, really happy if I'm right. Doors locked. Father's. Oh, this is a uh, Sid's house. When we realize he's not young enough for this anymore, you'll tell him, won't you, Cecil? Tell him he needs to settle down. Tell people have been saying horrible things about His Majesty and the others at the castle. It's all Father's been able to do to still their tongues. We know there are plenty of good men there, like you. History of shipbuilding. Yeah, it's definitely Sid's house. Yeah, ouch! Yeah, you can uh, touch the fire. <laughs> She's finished. New engine. Sid's been working. Principal's buoyancy. Uh, Sid's been working really hard, as we can see. All right. I don't remember the uh, training thing being down there, though. Huh. Doors locked, so you can't get weapons or armor. Don't worry. You have weapons and armor. My lord, I I've spoken no ill of his majesty, I swear it. Why don't I just show you a little something? We just forget about everything, alright? Yeah, sure. Dance! There are dancers in uh, Final Fantasy IV. It's a thing. They're in this town, they're everywhere. So that's one. Enjoy, because I'm probably not doing that again. What I will do, however, see if this old trick is still here. There it is. Found a tent. And a bronze hourglass. I remember the bronze hourglass being there. I remember the tent. There you go. Hooray. Okay, I think that's everything. I think those are the. Remember the tent? Bronze hourglass is new. Don't remember it being a bronze hourglass. Alright. Um. Uh oh! It's a dark night! But you know, I don't think you look so mean. <laughs> oh, found something. I found something. Or set too fast. Rose's house. His Majesty's recent behavior troubles me. Even you and your men have been doing some terrible things as I hear it, orders though they may be. All I ask is that you keep Rosa out of harm's way. Don't involve her in these dangerous ga games you men must play. Worry about her daughter. Okay. I said I was going to show it off. Because I'm sure most people don't. Training classroom. Here we'll learn some things about uh, Final Fantasy combat and things like that. Hello. You can activate auto battle by pressing C during combat. Don't know what button that is on my controller. This will cause all party members to automatically select the command set for them in the abilities menu on each turn. That's kind of cool. Huh. Auto battle. That's new. Hi. Remember, discretion is the better powder of valor that doesn't leave you scrambling for Phoenix down. If a battle isn't going well, press M and run like mad. Remember, also, that some spells can be cast upon the entire enemy or ally party. Press Z if you wish to change the targeted party for the spell. Hmm. I have to figure out how that works with the controller here. When casting spells from the magic menu, selecting target all instead of a member will cause the spell to target all party members. Got it. Yes, yeah, spells can be cast over... Uh, spells can be single cast or cast over the entire party. Just know if you're casting a spell over the entire party, whether it's an attack spell on enemies or a healing spell over allies, 
uh, effectiveness is reduced. So, just think of it as the damage or healing is getting split up. You could use the party menu to set the party to your liking. You can set the stronger members on the front row while you set the weaker ones on the back row. Selecting the swap rows command during a battle will allow you to move the front row of the party to the back and advance the back row to the front. If multiple party if member, multiple members of the party have their combat gauges filled, you can press tab to cycle through them. This will allow you to change the order in which they act, allowing you to fight more strategically. Decisive thinking is crucial in combat. Lacking that, you can always lower the battle speed like I do. If you really want to test your metal, try setting the battle mode to active in the settings menu. And I went over how that works last episode. Uh, it's definitely tougher that way. I suggest setting it to wait. That will let you enjoy the thrill of relentless assault by your enemies, even while you attempt to select magic and items. You want a challenge, set it to, to active. More of a challenge. Even in caves, there are save points where you can record your progress. Use them wisely. Training complete! Steam achievement. Don't know if it's showing up on uh, this recording. I don't think it is. thought I saw something. Oh, it's just talking to you. Okay. There we go. Training classroom. You've learned some basics about combat. Now let's see the real thing. As I find the way out. <laughs> Okay. The next thing, uh, let me use that gnomish bread so you can see it. Cast sight. Oh no, no, it gives you the map. I remember it doing that. I remember there being sight. It just like zoom out a little bit. Anyway, here you go. Baron Baron Castle. There you go. That's what that's what it does. So we use that. All right. Alright, sort these out. We now have six potions. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple of fights. This'll make uh, the next part easier. Surprised! Great! What a way to start out. Ow. 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 Alright. Uh, Kane's different. Kane has the jump command, which I'll be showing off. He's a dragoon. Dragoons are known for this, and this is where it started. Before goodbye. Now, Kane will take some time. However, after he comes back down, after some time passes, he also can't be hit during this. Jump! 80 damage. Jump is very useful. It is a powerful skill, and like I said, Dragoons are now famous for it. And this is where it started. It started here. Uh, to my knowledge, anyway. Kind of became, if it didn't start here, it definitely became famous here. Jump is, a pow is, is very powerful, not only because it does a lot of damage, but one, it's free. Like, it doesn't take MP or anything like that. And two... He can't be hit during jump. Keep this in mind. Ugh. These enemies do a lot more damage than I remember. Guess you guys got a buff, huh? Let's see, 56. Um, well, at least we can rest now. So, walk around. You can see in status how, many, how much EXP you need to level. For next level, 71, uh, 371. Did you start at level 10 in the... These are goblins. Poke. Goblins are weak. And we got preemptive strike. When you get preemptive strike, all of your character's uh, battle gauges are immediately filled. So go ahead. Just, you know, swing away. Preemptive strikes are very handy. 
Surprised works the opposite way. The enemy, go the enemy goes. Excuse me. The enemy goes first. <laughs> Cecil's level increased. Level 11. And you see, you get additional HP, MP, strength, speed, stamina, and then you know maybe intellect and spirit. It, the stats that will go up will depending on the character because different classes, different characters get different stat bonuses. But everybody will get. If they have MP, we'll get some additional MP. If everybody will get HP. So there you go. You can see how the stats increase, which is handy. I don't remember it doing that. Used to not do that. <laughs> you would just have to go and look. So that's nice. I like that. I don't remember starting at level 10. Because I remember wanting to get a couple of levels before heading into the Mist Cave. Anyway, Helldiver. Now, something you need to know about jump. Oh, ac here's the accuracy. See the chance you hit. Something you need to know about jump. It's very important. I don't know if it'll count on this enemy. We'll see, on these enemies, we'll see. Hit. One twenty. It depends on the game, and it also depends on the enemy. But if you're playing Final Fantasy games, uh, later ones, where you have a Dragoon-type class, something to keep in mind. And you'll know it's a Dragoon, a Dragoon or a Dragoon-type class if they have Jump. That's kind of a, uh... <laughs> it's, a tra It's kind of a tradition now. I mean, it's... It's the way it is. Uh... Enemies that fly... Tend to be weak to jump. It's a thing. Yay, Prim. And will take a lot of damage. Just remember that jump takes time. There's the downside. Kane's level increased. Plus HP, MP, Strength, Speed, and Stamina. Ooh. 7-11... 10-11... How much EXP are we getting per fight? Kinda just be kinda speeding through that part. Uh, let's take a look. Don't be afraid to, uh... Stand out here, get a couple of levels. I'm trying to think if if uh, FF3 had had dragoons. Kane really made it made the class shine and become famous. I think that's my opinion. 196 exp. Okay, so we're getting quite a bit of exp per fight. That's how you can tell. You know, it's like. Well, should I keep fighting here or should I move on? I would recommend getting a couple of levels. I'm gonna... I don't know if I need them, but this is what I would do in the old, uh... The other versions of Final Fantasy IV. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. And you can kind of see... Get a feeling for, for the combat. When HP gets low, just rest it in it. Critical hit. Nice game. It's interesting how uh, Cecil uses his sword. You know, kind of has it on his back and then just takes a big swing. I never kind of pictured him swinging the sword that way. That's cool. These new graphics give me a uh, different way to look at things. And we got a free potion. They just fight here. Now, the reason I'm staying on in here in this little grassy area is because depending on where you are you'll get different fights the enemies are different jumps not necessary <laughs> honestly 
Not for these enemies, anyway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get them both to level... 12? Kind of, kind of feels right. Uh, what I recommend is just at the beginning of an RPG, especially if it's an older RPG like this, Final Fantasy IV, it's an older... Even if it's remade. If it was an older RPG, take time to fight just outside of town. What'd I get? Oh, sweet. Free Phoenix now. And level 12. Entry MP strength. Plus one int. Rather have had stamina, speed, but whatever. Uh, spend some time fighting just outside of town and getting some levels. Trust me. It'll make the beginning of any RPG easier on you. It's just a practice that that I learned really pays off. Then we'll head to Mist. Well, I'll rest at the end and then we'll head to Mist. After Kane gets to level 12. Prepare to strike, Ray. Wow, there's that not 100% accuracy that Kane has. <laughs> there's that 4% chance to miss. <laughs> See, yeah, that's 96. I'm kind of going over it too quick, but I could read the 96. Oh, uh, that's new too. You used to never have that accuracy stat there. That's handy. Just so I can know my chances. When a character's HP gets into critical condition, it will turn yellow and the character will look different. So you see that uh, Cecil got on one knee. Yay! Gains level increased. Plus strength, stamina, and spirit. When you level up, don't expect a free, free HP and MP refill. No, no. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Now you see, Cecil's HP is in yellow. It means it's in critical condition. So what we're going to do is stay at the inn. Yep. From the fighting, you'll get more than enough money to, to rest at the inn. So don't worry about that. Alright, best be moving. So, by speaking to NPCs, you learn what you need to do next. We've learned that our next stop missed is to the in the Northwest Mountains. So, that's where we're going to go. Just know, you're going to get attacked along the way, of course. Having a couple of potions is nice. Also, uh, make sure you're at full HP before heading in. Hit, goodbye. And again, take the time, get a couple of levels. You're getting enough EXP, obviously. You know, 180 EXP. And how much do they need to level? 730, 1030. So they'll probably gain another, another level here. Here pretty quick. What we're looking for is this way. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm not used to this, <laughs> to the graphics. So it's going to be hard for me to, to find things. Like I know the, if I was looking at it from using like the SNES graphics, I could get there no sweat. But it just looks different. So I think I'm going the right way. We'll see. Yeah, there it is. This will be the missed game. Go ahead and save. Remember, you can save anywhere out in the overworld. Save and move on. Also a good idea to save in a different spot. Hey! It's naming way. Oh! Greetings and salutations again! Your name was Cecil, was it not? After we last spoke, I set about mapping out a new course for my life. One that would allow me to help people. But having undertaken the task of mapping, the name of Naming Way now seems rather inappropriate. Naming Way became Mapping Way. The 
photographer. Okay. Oh, right, let me give you this. Wayfarer's map. It's an enchanted map that will draw itself as you traverse the floors in caves and dungeons. And that's not all. For each map you complete, you'll receive a fantastic reward. I hope you find it useful. Well then, till we meet again. Are you serious? Well, there's the, uh, Carnelian segment. Where's the map? I do Oh, there's the, uh, switch characters. Yes, you can have Kane! <laughs> you can just change who's... who you're controlling. That's a thing. Um... That's cool! I'm not used to having a map. Where's the map? Uh, suggestion. I'm not sure if they could still do it, but the, uh, moths... Oh, you cast slow. The moths can do a status effect. The larva casts slow, which is super annoying. Uh, what slow does, it's just as it sounds like. You move slower, which means the time gauge will, uh, not move up as fast. There's a critical hit. Thank you. The time gauge will go up slower. Do not move forward in this cave if you're not one-shotting these enemies. Because you're going to start seeing a lot of enemies together, especially in this cave. So you can take a lot of damage. But the important thing is you, you want to be able to one-shot them that way you can get the battles and go on. It's a good way to test if you're strong enough for this cave. Now I know there's a... Seriously, where's the map? I mean, he gave us a map, right? Which is neat. I feel a presence. It's not hostile, but nor could it be called friendly. Hmm. It's not under key items either, so... Huh. Oh well. I'm used to not having a map, so... Meh. <laughs> Back attack! Ugh! Wing scales. Yeah, you you do still have it. Man. The darkness status effect makes your accuracy go to nil. Also, we, uh, when a back attack, rows are switched, so they were in the back row, which doesn't help because you do less damage. Yay, slow! I should have bought more uh, more eye drops. Because I can see the accuracy stat now. They really made it vicious. And it actually went down a ton. Well, that didn't work. Hit the... So, even though slow is annoying, definitely get rid of the moths first. Because if a character gets blinded, they're not going to really hit anything. Now I can see the accuracy. It wasn't quite that bad in the older versions. You could still hit every once in a while with blind, but jeez, it, your accuracy really goes down here. So use some of that money you got from getting uh, getting the characters up, and you're getting them some levels. But use some of that money to buy some eye drops, because you have no other way to get rid of blind. And blind does not go away over time. If it's like the uh, the other versions, it will not go away over time. It will even persist after battle. So what I'm gonna do? Uh, the cave is pretty straightforward, as you can see. There's not a lot of different paths to take. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this episode here. Next time we're gonna go through the mist cave and really get get started on story and things like that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Uh, this was still a lot of explanation as I kind of went over over a lot of things, but all of this knowledge hopefully it will help you. 
And if you already know it, then you know how critical all of this is for me to go over. Next episode, Miss Kate. I'm going to run back to town and get some eye drops. So the characters might be higher level. Yeah, Cecil is definitely level. Uh, Kane may as well, because I'm going to walk back to the cave as well. So they'll probably be level 13, so they'll have increased stats. That'll also help out. Till the next episode, I'm Sundray9. Remember to shoot for the stars, and take care, everyone.